With the new term approaching fast, there are nine kids to be kitted out. Baby, come on, chop, chop. Shoes on. And that doesn't come cheap. Oscar! So we've got the uniforms to sort out. The school shoes, which we get the once a year. The shoe bill. We get, the, yeah, the shoe bill, it's horrendous. Where's Holly and Pete? Where's Pete? The blazers, the ties, the shirts, trousers, everything else. Station PE made, kit. bags, yeah, PE kits. Mummy, are we going to the unicorn? Are we going to the unicorn? Yeah. Uniform. No. Uniform. <laughs> You're getting your school jumper. You already did touch Come on, let's go. You stay there, hound. Over the years, they've bought hundreds of new school uniforms. There's no hand-me-downs for this lot. Sometimes you can reuse a PE kit because it still fits them from the year before, but definitely not the uniforms. We like to get new. Yeah, they're always getting a bit shabby, aren't mm. they? They'll go with a nice new crispy uniform day one, come back with somebody else's on from two years How old. How many jumpers do they normally lose in the first like, week? Oh, it's it's quite a few, isn't there? Yeah. Right, come on. Come on then, let me go. Come on. Whether they lose uniforms or not, the Radford kids always look smart. I think it's a little bit Sue especially is conscious that we've got lots of kids and we don't want them to feel that because they come from a big family, they should be handed down clothes. Seven to eight, yeah. With nine sets of uniform to buy, it's going to be a very expensive year. And then we need... A six this one. Two six to seven. The two girls, same again. Every September for the last 20 years, a new Radford has started primary school. This year, it's Phoebe's turn. First school uniform. Yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> Where's she gone? Oh, you look so cute. Oh, Phoebe, you do look, look smart, smart Mrs. don't you? Mm, I'm smart, but Phoebe's a bit smart. Like that? Oh, yeah. that's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. With everyone fitted out, yeah, it's a two of those. It's time for the bill. You can just make your way over to the till, please. That is two hundred and seventy-seven pounds and ninety-six pence, please. It's my favourite bit. I love paying for school uniform. <laughs> Thanks, bye. See you later. Yeah, I don't think I've ever sold an order of that quantity. I might have kids, but nowhere near as many as that. He said that's two hundred and seventy-seven. I thought, oh, that's all right. And then he says, we've got your other stuff on order, so you just pay for that when you pick it up. I thought, oh, hell. Probably so. about another £140 worth of stuff. Let's go. Why do we talk about how much it costs? Well, just don't look at your bank balance and it'll be fine. It's 27 years since Noel and Sue's first child started school. Bing, bing. Chewy. This year, the milestone seems more important than ever. All day. Casper is going into year three. I am so happy because friends. Oscar, year four. Math. I love math. Football. Football. After six months off, they're going back. Yes, I can yes. tell you it was a shock to the system having to get up early this morning. My eyes hurt. This probably been the earliest I've actually ever woke up. The younger Radfords are at two different primary schools. So yeah, Noel and Sue have to split the school run. What time have you got to be there? Five for now. He's only got to take one. Shall I swap you? No. Tilly's the last person to go to the primary school. So it's the last year there. And we've been there for 20 years. As Tilly enters her last year of primary, Phoebe is beginning her education in another school. Phoebe, she doesn't look big enough to be going to school full time. Should still be at home with mummy, shouldn't you? It is a bit sad, isn't it? It's always a big thing when they start school, isn't it? Blubbering mums at the gates when they drop the kids off. Yeah. All of the milestones that the kids go through in school, like, you know, going from reception to year one, that's always a big thing because, you know, they're moving up in the years. A French plat? Anything like that? Yep. No. Single bubble, then it is. And then it's going from primary school to secondary school. And then you think, wow, where's my little, where's my little boy? Mm. Where's my little girl gone all of a sudden? Are you going to smile? Oh, look at you. You just think, oh, can you just slow down? Big smile. How many times have we said, oh, just wish we could bonsai, bonsai one? Them. Bonsai one at this age, you know, just keep them like that.
four litres of milk and two boxes of cereal later, the new uniforms are on. Half a dozen lunches are made. Are you ready, Phoebe? Yeah. And with some finishing touches... Dora the Explorer, you look yeah. like now. They're off. Are you excited about going back, Tilly? I'm very excited. Good. This is it. I'm going in. I'm going to miss her because I'm going to... She's going to be gone for six hours. The six hours, I'm going to miss her for that. Are you excited to come in? Come on, then. All right, darling. See you later. Have a nice day. All right, bye. Bye. The first day back is a big day for every child. What's happening today, Max? I'm going to high school. But this year is particularly important for 11-year-old Max. I'm about to start a new school, in, but not just a new primary school, a new high school. Do you think you'll be looking exactly as smart as you do now when you come home? No. Max yeah, doesn't just have not? the challenge of moving up to forward. secondary school. He's also been diagnosed with mild autism. Well, I think we knew he got autism for quite a while, didn't we? Mm. Um, his behaviour and things. Are you looking forward to playing rugby? I don't know what it is. It was a relief to find out. It's like anything, mm. isn't it? You find out what is wrong, you can then deal with it. Why is my hair so complicated? It never, ever styles. I'm nervous for Max because he struggles with change, doesn't like it. The school is just so big, there's yeah. so many people there. It's not like primary school. Bye, Max. Bye, bye. Mwah. Go on, have a super day. Bye, Mum. You're going to have fun. You'll get to meet bye, lots bye. of new people, won't you? Come on, then. Bye. Let's go. See you later. Bye. Bye, Mum. Bye, darling. Not I think it's a bit kind of yeah. make or break, isn't it, with high school, whereas primary school is, is not as bad, is it? But high school, yeah, it's just always a big deal. You're so excited, aren't you? His little face. Right, there's the gates, and I'll see you later. So don't forget, one of us will be here. Okay. Pick you up. All right. Bye, Dad. You have a nice day. Hi. Bye, sunshine. Bye. 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 <laughs> you know, I can't believe how confident Max was going into the school there. I was really sort of worried and nervous for him, but Max just seems to be, you know, this is the next challenge. It's in the next chapter. I can't wait to get stuck in here and learn all these different things that I'm going to be taught. Very proud of him today. See you in a bit. Bye. Bye. Come on. It's three o'clock. The first day of school is nearly over. Phoebe has just finished day one in reception. Bye. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye. You enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. What did you do? Uh, climbing in. I know. One day down. <laughs> With nine kids in three different schools, pick-up is a complicated mission. Hi. Good day at school? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, very good. With all of the friends? Yeah. Felt a bit weird. Did it? Yeah. But good? Yeah. I think we've done really well today, actually, getting all the kids to school. First of all, on time. And we've picked yeah. them up on time. I've noticed Davey's fast asleep. Yeah. After his first day at a different school, Max is the last one home. So how did his day go? Hi, guys. Look at that's a big was smile. It? Cool. cool. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Is it a good day, then? Yeah. Excellent. So you're going back tomorrow, then? Yes. <laughs> this is the Year 7 pupil passport. We had to write down all your siblings. people who you live at home with. Uh, <laughs> I might need a couple more minutes to write down all the names. <laughs> <laughs> Summary of today. Um, good day, good school, good teachers, and good, um, not good memory, good routine. As soon as he come through the door, he had a great big smile on his face, and that, that was a big relief, wasn't it? Thank goodness, eh, because it's a big thing for them, isn't it, when they go to secondary school and you wonder how they're going to get on. But, yes. So he's got his little passport thing. He's got pets, hobbies, interests, all that sort of thing. He's got friends, and he's, he's left, left that blank, blank at the minute. So, yeah, it'd just be nice 
to get that. I'll ask him each day if he's got some friends, and yeah. but just keep an eye on him.